Bogota, Colombia. City of the South, city of Spanish, city of many things, uh, many things in South, that are in South America. It's a city of spectacular views, wonderful people, beautiful booties, precocious pups, and, you guessed it, great food. Today, I'm going to be going out into Bogota for breakfast, lunch, and dinner to experience food authentically, the Bogota way. So, why don't you, uh, why don't you come along and join me? <laughs> Breakfast, the most important meal of the day. I'm here with Jamie Monsalve, the head chef at Restaurante Café del Choro. Uh, we're going to talk about some typical breakfast foods in Bogota, Colombia. Jamie, dime ejemplos de comida típica de desayuno in Bogota. Huevos eh, con jamón, con salchicha, o caldo con costilla, o changua. There's a saying in English, if you can't take the heat, get the heck out the kitchen. But I, well, as you can see, I can take the heat. I can sure take the heat. That's why sale I... Sale ya? Heat? Ya? Sale? Sale ya? There's different meats in uh, Latin America than we're used to in the United States. Um, otros carnes, como vaca y pollo acá, sí? Sí. Y uh, conejo? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. y uh, gatos, perros? No. No? no? Elefantes? No. Moscas? No. No, a veces? No, no, no moscas. Ah, okay. The food's affordable, but food scraps and crumbs are free. Just ask the dogs. Mmm. Entonces, a veces si no hay harina en el restaurante, usan flores a veces? No, no sirve, no. No, como rosas? No, no. Uh, uh, colibríes no, les gustan flores y más colibríes, no. la gente okay, no hay más colibrí, feliz. No, no? Ah, ok. Holy moly, look at all this food in front of me. Here we have a traditional Colombian breakfast or lunch, I'm not sure, maybe we slept in too late. We have a, a juice luro. It's a fruit I've never heard of. Uh, we have a nice soup here with potatoes and carrots and peas and things of that nature. We have some rice, we have some pork with fried onions, french fries, lots of fried things, and a delicious spaghetti, well I don't I, I guess, probably delicious, delicious looking, delicious looking spaghetti with chicken. Let's dig in. Pork and onions. Very porky. Yeah. Very pork-like taste. Um, also onions, I taste onions. Well, we're not in France, nor are we in the United States, the birthplace of the French fry, but uh, let's give them a shot, see what they're like. Oh, yeah. I would describe these as very French fry-y. Um, a lot of, yeah, French fries. Um, we got a little spaghetti uh, here with chicken. Let's, let's give that a shot. Spaghetti, spaghetti for breakfast. Look at me now, ma. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's like chicken and spaghetti, I would say. If you don't have any money, they're not going to serve you. But if dinero you have, the food is yours for the taking. Is that the tarjeta de crédito? Then I must be on my way. Lunch, the least important meal of the day. One of the quickest and easiest ways to find a good lunch in Bogota is to head out to the streets to a food cart like this one. Here you'll find a rapus, which sounds a bit like al rapia, but don't worry, it's not. It's a delicious food we eat with chorizos, butter, and sometimes cheese. I'm here with Maria Elena Fonseca of Las Arepas de la Concordia. Maria, dime a qué hora en la mañana están abiertos. Eh, muy temprano en la mañana, seis y media, siete de la mañana. Uh, muy Estoy temprano. Hoy. Entonces, dime la razón, sus arepas son las mejores en Bogotá. Eh, Primero que todo porque pues las preparo con mucho amor. Hey, 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 no. hey, 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 I guess it's both. Uh, tonight I'll be eating dinner in my hostel room with the doors locked because I'm afraid of going outside and being robbed again. Because I'm in the city of 10,000 thieves, or 10,000 subways, as, as it were, which is what I'm eating tonight, Subway. 
eat fresh or uh, eat it in your hostel and then it's less fresh because you had to walk back to your hostel probably or take a bus or something. No, you're going you're gonna to walk because there's a lot of subways here and it's really easy to find them and there's no reason you should have to take a bus to get to a subway in this city. You know, you can't have nice things these days. Somebody wants to take it. As soon as you have something nice, somebody wants to take it. Can't believe this shit. You know, I'm just really upset about being robbed earlier, and I, I, I leave me alone.